You think that the Christian cross was always at the top of these churches, then you are sadly mistaken. In fact, some of the oldest and the biggest churches in the world never had crosses at the top of them. What actually was at the top of these buildings was antennas and resonators. Now these resonators were filled with mercury. And when mercury spins, it actually creates a current free energy. So the antenna would harness the electromagnetic energy from the ether. It would then go into the mercury, which would spin, create a current and create free energy and free electricity for the building. This evidence is all around us. Even in our own hometowns, we can find this. This was Tartarian free energy technology. They did not use any wires back in the day. Again, on all these old cathedrals, you don't find the cross. And cathedral has the word cathode in it, which is a type of electrode. These buildings generated free energy. The pews in these cathedrals were also added afterward because the original purpose and design of these buildings were for people to lay down and listen to the healing frequencies. Pyramids around the world were also energy generating machines. Pyramids are the easiest structures to carry energy. Orgon pyramids are a perfect example of this with the rice and the crystal and the copper matrix, it creates orgon energy. This is sustainable life force energy. You can even see it when you do a frozen water test. And they also neutralize EMF radiation. As you can see in this video, the tester goes right to zero when the orgon pyramid goes behind.